Yo, what's up everyone? Today we're checking out another Swoozy video after a long time. This one's called Gas Lightings. I guess this is another story about Su Swoozy's relationships. I guess it's a relationship story because that's where you get gaslighted the most. And it's just really annoying, man. But let's check this out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. True story. Got a really quick true story for you guys. We have this guy and we have this girl. Yeah, I must start a video. Like I haven't been gone for the last five months. I think it's been longer. Anyways, there's this guy and this girl. Guy might be me, the girl might be me. I might not even be in this equation at all, okay? It's a true story, that's all that matters. So there's a guy and there's this girl. <laughs> uh, Say I something. missed you guys. Thank you for being so patient. I'm losing my voice, I've been yelling for the last few days. Anyways, so there's this guy and this girl. I know some of my friends are sitting there like, <laughs> I know who he's about to talk about. No, you don't. You don't know my struggle. I think you I don't do. Know what I've been through. I think I so do. So this guy and this girl. <laughs> you you've seen couples like this. These guys would argue for no reason. The guy would walk into the room and be like, "What day is it, babe? Um, Tuesday. Why? Mm, I don't know. Why? I'm bored. That Mortal voice cracked though. Boom, ba jump, ba jump, ba jump, ba jump, boom, and they start <laughs> fighting. For no reason. You've seen these couples. You might have been one of these couples. You know what? Let's just pause the story really quickly. This is address this head on. Gaslighters never think they're the problem. All right, so let's just break it down Barney style. If you're being dishonest or you're telling a lie and somebody else is getting close to catching you, that's typically when gaslighting happens. Some of y'all remember that story a little while ago when I was 13 and took my mom's car and drove it around and then parked it like not in the right parking spot and the next day my mom came along <laughs> like, where's Other side my of the car? World. I thought I parked it right here. Mom, no. Oh yeah, this you video. You parked it like way over there. That's me gaslighting my mom. It doesn't just happen in relationships. Gaslighting happens anytime you're just trying to trick somebody or manipulate somebody. Because usually whenever we feel ourselves about to get caught in a lie or we feel ourselves getting cornered, we have a defense mechanism dumb. where we just... Gaslighting. So for those of y'all who are too young to be in a relationship yet, you can gaslight your parents. You can gaslight your friends. And the way to get around this is just be honest. Because you want to know what's worse than getting caught in a lie is when that person that you're gaslighting realizes they're gaslighting gas oh then you got problems cousin i love when you catch somebody lying and you know that they're lying and they know that you know that they're lying and they still lie because see the reason i'm even making a video like this is because a lot of my friends around me are dealing with this problem right now and the gaslighters think that they're innocent so let's just all try this exercise okay if you're watching this video and you're in a relationship just say to yourself it's me hi I'm the problem, it's me, I'm a gaslighter. At some point in time, we've all gaslit somebody. In our own eyes, I don't even know if I have. doing the right thing. There's some people, believe it or not, who just need conflict, but they're actually those people out there who need drama, and when there's no drama, it's all they girls. will start it. I know it sounds crazy, but I've encountered it. I had a friend catch her boyfriend one time, being sneaky. This man FaceTimed her twice in the same day, and she called me and she was like, he's up to something. What you mean? He normally only FaceTimes me one time max ever in a day. He FaceTimed me twice. He's up to something. I don't see anything. I want to bet she was dead right. She caught him meeting up with some other girl at the bar. Just off the that, energy that he was putting off. There's certain that actions that we do that, that give off energy. Even our inaction will give off a certain energy. If your boyfriend or girlfriend or mom or dad is a fine-tuned antenna, they will pick up on this energy and they will catch you. So don't think you over here like, I'm gonna slide over real quick on a sneaky link and they're never gonna find out. So no matter how sneaky or how good of an actor you think you are, people can pick up on energy, people pick up on vibes. So here's a solution. Be honest. Anyways. It's kind of hard to be honest. Back to the story. So oh, there's yeah. this guy story. and this girl. Guy walks in the room. Hey, babe. That's you, what Susie. day is it? Mmm. Valentine's Day. Why? Mortal Kombat. And they start a fight. Even though the guy started the fight, he was like, you know what? Let me squash it. I'm being irrational. Let me take you out to get something to eat. Guy takes the girl to her favorite restaurant. Like, the fight is starting to calm down, but he's ignoring her because he's on his phone. Normally, this guy, when he's texting, he holds his phone to where the girlfriend can't see who he's texting. But this time, he's holding the phone to where she can just see just a little bit. So the girl glances at the phone like, who are you texting that you ignored me for? She sees that her boyfriend is texting his ex. 
in the middle of a fight. Remember how I told y'all there's He's some doing this for drama. Just can't let stuff be calm. They need some kind That's of It's got to be for drama. The fight starts all over again. No, 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 no it's not. I was texting, I was texting her to be like, I can't talk to you no more out of the blue random. She's here like, no, I'm not stupid. You're texting your ex to make me even more mad. Later the dude admits, yeah, I wasn't done fighting and you were being calm and I wanted you to get mad like me, so I was trying to get you on my same level of upset. Something else you guys have to understand, in relationships, there are those people that when they get mad and you stay calm, there's some people that feel like you don't care enough if you're not getting as mad as they are. So they want you to get as mad as they are. So they'll do things to get you as mad as they are. Here's the thing, we all do things like this in relationships. This scenario with the dude texting Texting his ex in the middle of a fight for the girl was the beginning of the end. That for her cemented the relationship in a certain direction. It was a ticking time bomb until doomsday at that point. Our actions cement certain consequences. For example, for those of you who play chess, when you're playing white, I your first chess. move is either with a pawn or a knight. Depending on which of those two moves you make, then cement the outcome of the end of the game. The moves you make can lock certain consequences into the fate of your relationship with that person. Yeah, there's so, only one move. The relationships around us are extremely important. Boyfriend, girlfriend, mom, dad, friends, family, brother, sister. Reflect on your own actions. Make sure you're not the toxic one. I found that when dealing with people, there's something you can do that fixes all that. And you know what it is? Just be honest. Okay, yeah. I guess that's the solution to gaslighting. Just be honest, tell the truth, and the gaslighting is all done. But that was a good, swoozy video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.